Welcome to Sonic 3 the Hedgehog and Knuckles. I was bound to do this game. Here's a bunch of old save files, but I think they're corrupted. Um, yeah, this is, uh, it was inevitable that I was going to do this game because I've already done Sonic 1 and 2, so I figured, why not do Sonic 3 and Knuckles, since you can't beat the full game without doing both at the same time. Uh, I'm going to actually do it quickly. I feel like clearing everything. Just because. Again, I think these are just kind of corrupt saves at best. Because I've had a time when my saves, for some reason, were lost and a whole bunch of random ones were started. Uh, we're gonna go under here. Yeah, that was a lot of nothing for nothing. Well, at least I started with the game. This is gonna be a very quick, all emerald run of it. Um, no, not a speed run. But I am going to play it as fast as I can, just because. I'm probably going to split them again into 30 minute parts, you know, just because. Anyways, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Um, I remember when Sonic and Knuckles came out. For some reason I don't remember when Sonic 3 came out. I was more excited for Sonic and Knuckles for some reason, I have no idea why. Anyways, as you can see, I'm already at the first uh, special stage. I'm gonna say I could probably do this within less than uh, two hours. I'm gonna say. That includes getting all the emeralds. It's actually the easiest of the Genesis Sonic games, I'm gonna say. Even collected the emeralds, the stages, they're all much easier. Sonic 2 was easier level-wise, but it was harder special stage-wise. Yeah, I know. I'm uh, skipping those for now. Just so I can get the rings. If you've played this, you should know. If you complete a square that has spheres in the middle, you get rings. When you get all rings, you get a perfect. And a perfect leads you to uh, an extra continue. Straightforward stuff. Of course, I also, also got... Well, I think perfect leads to that. I don't remember, but whatever. I already got an extra continue anyways. Not that I'm going to need it. I don't plan to get game over. Not to say I'm not going to die, but I do not plan on getting any game overs. I don't even remember the last time I got a game over in this game. Not that lives are sparse in here. And I already got the first emerald. Uh, perfect is just a bonus. Forget what I was saying before. I'm not uh, taking this over Fire Emblem, this is merely something in between. I'm not even going to stop like I did like I said the last time, where I stopped playing it because I wanted to practice some stuff. No, this is actually something I'm just doing in the middle for the heck of it. I guess you could say kind of to make up for what I foresee will be a lack of recordings within the next little while. Because, I mean, like I mentioned, there's going to be some stuff. Tails, stop trying to push in the opposite way, you idiot. Yeah, I do have Tails in this one because he's not really bothersome like the other times. I mean, in Sonic 2, in the special stages, he can really, really cause you to not get the emeralds. And we fire first mini boss. Of course, you can't actually kill him. It's merely a, a little interlude. I'll call it. Anyways, this game, when you combine both of them, you get much of Sonic and Knuckles versions of things versus the Sonic 3 versions. Namely, in um, the victory musics, the invincibility musics, and Knuckles themes. Well, Knuckles theme. Also, the mid-boss music. Because, um, eh, you should... If, if you're familiar with this game, you should already know that theories have been that Michael Jackson was supposed to compose the music for this, but due to whatever the reasons were, they are multiple, mostly involving his little child bundling scandal that he was dropped. Uh, I think I've also heard one theory was that he did not like the way the music sounded on the Genesis and essentially backed out of the project. 
whatever the reasons were, supposedly his music was cut out except for certain remnants, which can be heard in many of the stages, which contains his voice, um, uh, what you call it, samples. You can hear that in much of the music that was cut out, actually. The, um, mid-boss theme is actually one of the more prominent that has that. Uh, so yeah, sometimes I get confused of where to go. These special stages are some of the easiest ever, um, except for Sonic 3 Blast. Those are easy. Perfect, now it's just a matter of getting the rest of these. No, this is actually quite an epic game when you play it in its entirety. You know, if you play them both separately, it feels kind of, you know, underwhelming. But when you play it in its entirety, it's quite a long and epic game. You travel from the beginning of Angel Island all the way to the Death Egg. That's not a spoiler. You should know that you'd reach the de Death Egg in this game. Another continue. I'm probably not going to need it. This game is also no notable in a sense for having introduced the second act music variant. Sonic 1 and 2, the music basically stayed the same throughout both acts, with no differences. Oof. Um, this game, however, introduces the music for the second act, where it changes. Uh, it changes after you pass the first act. Which is a no little nice touch when you think about it. Alright. This game also introduces the shields. Fire shield, water shield, electric shield. They all have their uses. Uh, I'll get that. Yeah, sometimes when you land below the sign you get um, an extra box. Of course, I'm talking to you like you don't know this game. I'm assuming you do know this game. I'm just, you know, doing obligatory explanations. You want me to stop? Okay, I'll stop. Anyways, uh, I think I know this one. Yeah, I know this one. Uh, perfect is a bit harder to get in here, but I can do it. And of course, you should already know, if you're familiar with it, if you connect Sonic and Knuckles with Sonic 2, you will get Sonic uh, Knuckles in Sonic 2. If you connect Sonic and Knuckles with any other game, you get more Sphere bonus stages, special stages. And there's a lot of them. I think so if you connect it with Sonic 1, you actually get every variant that's available. But don't quote me on that. Look it up somewhere else. That's more reputable. I know how to do it in here to get the perfect. It's just a matter of making sure I know where I am versus where the end is. Then I can do my stuff to time it. I'll do it based on looks. I think I should be closing in on the end, so... I believe I need to... Yep, yeah, that's what I figured. See, now I can get the perfect here. And hit the last one to get my third emerald. You can get most of the emeralds actually in uh, Angel Island Zone. It's not that hard. You just gotta know where everything is. I can actually get a fourth one here. You can't get all in Angel Island. You can get a lot of them. You can have them all by Marble Garden Zone. I think that's what it's called. I can't remember for some reason. There's at least one more in here. That much I know. I mean, there might be another, but, you know, whatever. I'm making good pacing anyways. Water Shield. Basically, allows you to breathe underwater without the use of bubbles. Helpful because this half of the game has a lot of water. 
In fact, the next stage will be water. Let's lower this water. I don't know if there's a, a big ring up there. One thing that makes it easier to get the emeralds is the fact that you don't need to collect rings beforehand. I went into the bonus stage for the heck of it. I don't really need it. I already got bars. Yeah, it's kind of a callback to Sonic 1. Remember those special stages? This is now just a bonus. I, didn't even, I don't even know why I went in here, but I just did. I want to get into the slot machine again, but that looks like it's going to be impossible for me. Oh, almost hit the uh, goal. Except the here, if you hit the sides, you reveal goals eventually, because... I guess they didn't want you to be here forever. I mean, the more you land on these portions, you see, goals get revealed. Which means you can only be in here for so long. Eh, you know what? I'm done. I don't need rings at this point. I don't have my supersonic. Alright, goal time. That's it, it's just for rings. There are two other versions. One of them I used to hate when I was younger, but... <laughs> that guy was glitched at first. But I've come to accept it as time went on. Ah, uh, So much for not needing rings. Well, whatever, I got my water shield now. Alright, so if I go down here, I should encounter... Yep. Another one. I think this one's actually on the box. In the back of the box, that is. I still have the box for this game. Of course, I have boxes for just about most of my Genesis games. Well, okay, not most. Truthfully, actually, a lot of the Genesis games I bought were used, so actually a lot of them don't have boxes. Forget what I was saying. I mean, I used to actually have a smaller Genesis collection. It consisted of the Sonic games, Mario Lemia Hockey, and Mega Bomberman. That was really all it was. But over the years, I've come to learn that there are a lot of good Genesis games out there. You've just got to search for them. They're a bit harder to search for because their fandom's a little bit lower. Oh, whoa! Okay, I didn't do my jump good. Well... Okay. I didn't do that on purpose, it's just my jump didn't really go good. Nah, that's not gonna work. So yeah, to find good Genesis games, there are a lot, but it requires you to look past what was popular sometimes. Because what was popular versus what was actually good can very greatly. Basically, Genesis collecting is a bit different from collecting on other Nintendo systems, I'd say. Because most of the popular games on the Nintendo consoles tend to be the best, versus the Genesis where that's not necessarily true. The Genesis was actually very popular for sports games, I believe, at one point, so you're gonna find a lot of those. I mean, that's true with any console, but... The Genesis seemed, maybe because of its different uh, capabilities versus the SNES. And of course, I wonder if that's flying battery or just a random ship. Either way, Tails can't run. Every time he hits the portion where Sonic is, he goes back. It's robotic. Just thinking he can sneak behind the trees. Now we enter the first battle at Robotnik. I wasn't even going to bother. Tails got that second hit for me. Ooh, Tails, you almost screwed me over. Because I would have gone through Robotnik. Ah ha ha. He's not that hard. That bridge just appeared there. Come on, come on. Ah, there we are. Yeah, those, dude, those, um, I forget what they're called, egg pods, whatever they are, they come from different areas sometimes. It's Knuckles again. 
And in this game also, you transition from each level. It shows you how you get there, which was a nice touch. Now here's the water level, Hydro City Zone. S second stage has some pretty good music. I mean, this game does have good music anyways, but, you know... I mean, some people may have their preferences, but personally I find that most of these Sonic games for a Genesis are equal in their own rights. They may not be exactly the same, you know, but hey, there's nothing wrong with Sonic music. I know, it's kind of babbling again. Interesting thing about this... Uh, I'm talking too fast, too. Interesting thing about this shield is that it can also deflect certain projectiles. I know, I've been doing nothing but talking this entire time. Oh. I don't know where I wound up just now. I was hoping to find a big ring. But I wound up somewhere I've actually never been to. Because a lot of these levels actually do have multiple paths. It's just a matter of finding them. It's also a matter of finding the, uh, emeralds. So you gotta find the giant rings. Wow, I've actually never been here before, I don't think. Look at Tails with his, um, fox paddle. He's like, fisting the water or something. Oh, hey, that was bad timing. Wow, I've already gone through the entire level and missed a ring. I knew of one. Uh, this guy, you can only hit him very specific points when he does this. Four hits on him. I might be able to get the last two. Yeah, there we go. Oh, maybe I had five on him. Whatever. I was hoping for a water shield that time. And now here, they kind of play jerk on you. Because they bring you down. And now you got to escape a wall. Granted, once you're used to it, it's not that hard. Of course, the game was being more jerk-ass in Sonic 3, because I think there used to be a spring there instead of a 1-up. So it's springing back towards the wall. There were some small changes they made to kind of make certain portions easier, it seems. This, this is, uh, some good music. Come on. Get it. Oh, it always looked like to me down there there was something, but... Unless that's later on. I'll point it out when I see it again, if uh, I didn't already pass it. No point in getting that. I know of at least one in this area. It's just a matter of getting to it, which shouldn't be too hard. A lot, a lot of fast uh, rolling in this uh, act, actually. Actually, there's at least two I know of. It's just a matter of getting to them. Oh, fell down. Here's what I'm gonna do. Go back up here a little bit. Use the momentum to get back up. Ah, there's nothing there. It's later on, I think. I think that uh, little thing helped me a little bit. Ah, it's over there. I always thought there was something over there. Because it looked like there's like... A, uh, a window thing that you can enter, but I've never been able to figure that out. Unless it's on the other side, maybe. Alright, where am I? Oh, maybe that's it. No, it's not it. There's an extra life I can get. Might as well get it. Now I got ten lives. There's no shortage of lives in this game. See? Let's go. I want to find at least two rings in here. There's one. I know of one more at least. 
All right, I'm at a different one now. Don't worry, I'll get them all. It's a lot easier to do it. I just did a miss jump or something. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of talking in this one. Of course, now I have nothing to say. Uh, I will say, though, it is a bit easy to get lost in these things. Because you'll be going and then you'll kind of forget where you were. And sometimes you screw up like that. I mean, it's not like you have an easy way to remember where you've been, where you're going. See, I feel like I'm going in circles now. I'm going in circles, aren't I? Let's go up here. Or not. Oh, there we are. They are all over here. That's eating up time, though. I'm hoping to at least beat it less than two hours. That's just my preference. If I was doing a speed run, I wouldn't even get the emeralds. But then I wouldn't get the good ending. Alright, I gotta refine those four. Huh, <laughs> that could have been close. There they are. Three. And we get the emerald. Of course we do. And just for more dialogue for the heck of it, if you didn't know already, this was meant to be a complete game, but the cartridge would have been too big, therefore they would have had to sell it for a larger price, and they figured people wouldn't want to buy it. So they cut it into two games and made them connect together. I believe there is a beta for, um, uh, uh oh, a cartridge. Uh, um, of Sonic 3. What was it? Either way, it was a cartridge that was going to be released afterwards. Ow. To jump too fast. It was going to be a cartridge released afterwards that would have been the complete game. There's a beta for it that's uh, floating around in ROM form. Yeah, Tails hurt himself. But that never came to fruition. And it would have actually used most of the Sonic 3 stuff instead of the Sonic and Knuckles stuff. Come on. Because it's like only has a limited time. Anything over here? Well, a spring. I want to see if there's anything else. Maybe another big ring? No. You know, I could technically play this even a second time. Because you can play it as Knuckles too, who has sometimes different paths. Only if you want me to. I don't have to. Um, uh, I hope that wasn't it. Nah, it probably wasn't it. Ow. Alright, I'm going too fast, I think. They did speed this game up a little bit, but there's still quite a bit of platforming in it. Versus the Sonic Advance, ga ad Advance games, which are nothing more than running games. I hate the special stages in that game, too. I never find them well. Very often you see that thing where you go across the water top. Alright, I know what I'm doing now. Now it's just a matter of getting up. Alright, this is going to be a bit difficult. Ah, oh, there we are. It's a bit difficult to get that one. Alright, what do we have here now? Oh! Wrong turn. I was scratching myself and accidentally pressed on another wasted ring. Oh well. What are you going to do? I was just scratch myself quickly before starting, and then... Fine. Let's get to the end of this. It's Knuckles again. Oh! This is probably one of the... 
least bad of the water zones and Sonic games. Ah, this one. I used to hate this one, but now I'm used to it. It's actually a great way if you want rings. Because the higher up you get, the more of those give you better rings. Of course, I'm hoping for a water shield. Alright, more rings. Yeah, I used to not be good at this because my timing used to always suck. But now it's actually one of the best ways, as I said, to get ah, rings. Missed my water shield. Get that? Or not. That probably would give me a good amount of rings. Come on, what that one. Oh well, it's gonna be coming up soon. That one's hard to get. Yes! I didn't see how much it jumped, but look how many rings it gave me. It was definitely a lot. Oh, uh, I didn't get a water shield. Oh well, not that I needed. Alright, Robotnik. Oh, well, Tails helped it there a little bit. Of course, if you get sucked in, that doesn't help. Use these bombs to launch us up. Of course, they're they aren't landing very well. There we are. Of course, I lost myself up there. I lost count. I wasn't really counting very well. Ow! That was wasted too. Oh, come on. There we are. It's almost a half hour. So what I'm going to do is end it with this uh, level, zone, and then I'll meet you in, I believe it's called Marble Gardens. Either way, I'll meet you there 